Hello, this is Lowell City Manager Eileen Donahue providing an update on the city's response to the coronavirus crisis. In recent days, we have seen a substantial increase in the number of confirmed cases here in the city, bringing the total number of confirmed cases to 797 cases as of today, April 17th. By all accounts, we are in the midst of a surge in Massachusetts with a peak expected by experts in the coming days. As a result of several important steps taken here in the city over the past week, we are confident that Lowell is well prepared to confront the challenges that will emerge in the critical days ahead. During a crisis of this magnitude, the city has a responsibility to dedicate all of the resources and assets at its disposal to protect the health of the community, including those who are less fortunate and who are particularly vulnerable. That's why we made the decision to open an emergency homeless shelter in the gymnasium of the Stocklosa Middle School. The shelter is intended to serve non-symptomatic individuals experiencing homeless that may have been exposed to positive COVID-19 cases. Individuals who have tested positive would not be directed to the site. The shelter will have 40 bed capacity and will be staffed by reassigned Lowell Community Health Center staff and managed by SMOC. Unfortunately, this week we were informed of several positive cases of COVID-19 among the LT, LTLC or shelter staff and residents. The circumstances that the city has been made aware of reflect that exposure at the shelter may have been widespread. This both underscores the need for quarantine shelter space and presents new hurdles in our efforts to compassionately respond to the distinct risks that coronavirus poses to individuals experiencing homelessness. Because our plan depended on LTLC staff to manage the emergency shelter at the Stocklosa, its operation has been put on hold for the time being. The city is working with Lowell General Hospital and the state to conduct universal testing of the shelter's entire staff and population in order to determine the extent of transmission and to assess how to move forward. The city's emergency management team and health department have also remained in close contact with Lowell General Hospital as it prepares for a surge in COVID positive patients. The city has worked with the hospital, UMass Lowell and MEMA to set up a 90 bed surge facility at the university's campus recreation center. This site will serve low acuity patients requiring step down care prior to being released. MEMA has completed work to build out the space and it will be ready for use beginning next week. While we are all hopeful that the need for this space will ultimately be limited, its availability represents a critical measure to ensure the preparedness of the city's healthcare infrastructure. As most are aware by now, CVS recently launched a rapid testing site in Lowell, which offers drive-through testing at no cost to Massachusetts residents. By conducting up to 1,000 tests per day, the site has significantly increased access to testing for Lowell residents, which is extremely valuable from a public health standpoint and essential in order to contain transmission of coronavirus locally. We are grateful to CVS and the Baker administration for partnering with the city to launch this operation. If you are seeking a test at this site, please remember that you must pre-register for the same day time slot on the CVS website prior to being testing. Testing is only available to symptomatic individuals. We are also closely monitoring the situation at long-term care facilities and nursing homes in the city. The health department has designated a public health nurse to serve as a primary point of contact with their staffs. The department works in close coordination with facilities when positive cases are identified to implement control measures aimed at limiting transmission. Through the city's EOC, we are also working to provide supplies of PPE to each facility. While the circumstances surrounding the coronavirus have heightened during this surge, there have been positive developments for our community that we are hopeful will help limit the devastating impact of the disease that has been seen here and around the globe. And each has come as a result of the hard work of coalitions formed between the city, state agencies, and community partners. 
On behalf of the City of Lowell, I thank every individual and organization that has participated in these critical preparedness efforts. Because of this tireless work, the resilient spirit of our city and the cooperation of the community has demonstrated thus far by staying home and following social distancing protocols. I am confident that the city is prepared to endure the challenging times ahead. Stay safe and visit lowellma.gov coronavirus for more updates. Thank you.